Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video, Big Squid Studios video. It's me, Cameron. Hey, I promised some train videos, so let me show you what's gonna go down. First, let me show you what I've already, well, this isn't anything new. This is something I already had, but I'll tell you how I did it, and then I'll explain what I'm going to be doing, okay? Materials I'm going to use. Here's what I've already done. Uh, we have this nice 4x4 four four table, 4x4x4. Four foot four foot. It is made out of insulation foam. This kind of thing, right? Right here. They use in construction. Okay. So this is made out of insulation foam, 2 inch thick. Really nice and sturdy. To protect it, uh, we put a hardboard strip of hardboard going around all the edges and um, that will protect it from damage so that the foam won't get chipped off, right? Because nobody wants that. Then on the top I went ahead, I mixed uh, sand, just some play sand you can get. It. I got it at Lowe's I think. Oh, just, yeah, anyway. Play sand mixed with some black house paint and some water to thin it down a little bit. Spread that out all over it cool thing is while it's drying you can then go in and add some stuff so I you know gave it some nice um, wheel ruts <laughs> that'll be the word I use that's the term you know to indicate some uh, some areas of travel where people have gone many times over the same spot anyway and then <clears throat> um, since it was black house paint that I mixed it with, it was already primed. It was already ready to go to paint, so I started painting it, right? Gave it this uh, brown, reddish, earthy look to it. I wanted a, uh, a slight reddish dirt. And that's something to think about when you're painting it. Not all dirt is just brown, you know? Go outside and look at the dirt. Look at some pictures of dirt. See what you want your table to look like. That's a tip for painting it. Uh, for the grass, was that fast enough to make you spew that camera change there? Anyway, the grass is just a, a mix of various um, flocks and static grass. So there's quite a variety of color and length in here. I wanted it, you know, to have a kind of wild overgrown feel to it. Okay. Anyway. I really like how this table turned out. I think it's nice. It's it's lightweight, which makes it, you know, easier to store and to move around. So I like that. Um, what I don't like is I don't, we, we don't really have any terrain um, that goes with this table at the moment. So that'll be a terrain project in and of itself to create some more terrain to go with this table. But for the skirmish game we are creating, we wanted to make a table that's more desert based. Southern Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, that kind of uh, environment, so the Red Rock Desert. Okay? Uh, this is what I'm going to be using to create it. Look at this. This is an old piece of wood I've had lying around. Obviously, you can see it was once a gaming table. Pretty pathetic. One of the first I ever made. It's spray painted wood. Yeah. That's sad. Anyway, I would like to, you know, I really enjoy the foam. But I'm going to try just using this because I want to make this table into something that's a little more uh, built in. So the train won't be as modular. You know, you can't move the hills around it'll just be all sculpted into this one board almost more like a diorama so I'm going to use this as the base then we're going to start using this foam here attach it to the wood you know start creating some nice desert looking uh, plateaus hills that kind of stuff this is foam core this is a great material as well for terrain you can use it for buildings if need be it's basically just poster with some um, foam in the center which makes for a good lightweight structure so that's those materials are uh, I'm gonna use the the insulation foam it, it's either pink or blue usually you can get it at hardware stores like Lowe's or Home Depot 
Um, depending on the state, if you're in the wrong state, that's right, if you're in the wrong state, then you can't get it uh, unless you're a contractor or something. So in that case, I've heard of people going to actual construction sites and just seeing if they could pick up scraps, leftover pieces that they're going to throw away. So I'm going to start working on it, and I'll keep you up to date, keep doing videos of it. Remember to check out our blog. For now, you can just go to BigSquidStudios.com. It will redirect you to the blog while the website is being created. And check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash BigSquidStudios for updates, questionnaires, and polls that you can participate in to help develop the game. Like right now, we've got a poll up asking about bases, preference on basing, base styles, right? Games Workshop kind of bevel edge base or the rounded display base seen in other games like Privateer Press games. So go on, cast your vote on our Facebook page. Let us know what you would prefer to see in a game. Goodbye! Oh, and thanks, thanks for watching this video.